It's Prompt Nugget's $30,000 Summer Cash Giveaway. And that's not all. Every day of the week in June and July, we've planned something special for you. Sundays, $1.50 bowling specials, daily drink and appetizer specials at the Gold Bar, hot seat drawings and the party cart. Earn up to 10 times the points three days a week. Thursdays in June, win a GPS. Thursdays in July, win a 32-inch HD TV DVD combo. Every Friday and Saturday, 10 lucky people will walk away with their share of $30,000. Where the fun never stops, Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. Hi, this is Bill Koberger. I'm here at KPVM TV, and with me to my right is Al Balaqui with the town and town board member Harley Calkin. Last night we had some uh, interesting things happen at the town board meeting. Can you explain what happened? Well, to make a long story short, uh, we passed moving forward with the international attraction. Mm -hmm. I think that's how we would refer to it. And, uh, you know, it's been a dream of mine for years to, to make happen. And then, of course, something extraordinary like that takes a lot of people working together. And I'd like to thank you two for your efforts. You put a lot of information together in the backup, and, uh, and we got a 4-1 vote last night. And that usually doesn't happen with this town board. A 4-1 vote was really exciting. So, Mr. Balakui, can you give us a little bit of uh, detail what, uh, how this project all came about? Well, the, the project came about is, is that we were looking to capitalize on, on where we could go ahead and move forward and in increasing the tourism attraction into Pahrump. And, and I mean, it's right across the, the mountain. It's, it's in Las Vegas. 40 million people fly there a year. 10, 15 million people drive into there a year. So how do we create, as Mr. Coakland said, a destination attraction, a destination resort to attract them to come over here for a day or two and spend money in the businesses here and, they, and possibly even stay here? Well, I know that we all three took a trip to L.A. to meet with the uh, group Contour Entertainment led by Chris Brown, who uh, was a Disney exec for over 20 years. And in doing so, uh, we talked about two other areas that were big international attractions here in the uh, town of Pahrump. You want to talk on one of those two? Well, you know, they, they were surprised that uh, more people didn't know about uh, the growth of Front Sight, which is just south of the town, as well as uh, Spring Mountain Resort. Uh, the the motocross that that is tremendous and then you know we didn't even get into talk about Nevada Tre treasures on the north side which is one of the top 10 RVs uh, resorts in the country and and terrible's lakeside on the south side I mean bracketed on both things we have so much potential in this this valley that those of us that live here take it for granted and other people will come over here and see the beauty those things that attracted us here originally and in your opinion, is that what you think attracted Contour Entertainment to the uh, town of Pahrump? Yes, I think that they realized just like we do. We had a lot of great spokes, so to speak, and we needed a hub to tie it all together. And the international attraction will do it. And now, if I remember correctly, they're looking at trying to obtain about a half a percent to three percent of the 47 million people that come from Las Vegas. They think it's uh, obtainable, and that's basically what their first phase is going to be about, correct? That is correct. They're going to go ahead and put together the factual information that will show that that group will come over here from over there. And that takes a lot, of, a lot of work and a lot of effort. But more importantly, they've got to assemble that information that's acceptable by the industry. In other words, they're going to talk the talk that the industry talks so they understand that and they could go ahead and come and say, yes, this will happen. This is the size of project we could develop. This is the amount of people that we could bring into the community. And this is the revenue that it would generate. That's what the work is all about.